What's up everyone? It's Sarah and in this video I am going to be covering the Calvin cycle. It's the carbon fixation step of photosynthesis. In the Calvin cycle, ATP and NADPH from the light dependent phase are used to make carbohydrates and they use carbon dioxide as the carbon source. So carbon dioxide incorporation requires a massive amount of energy, like a freaking boatload of energy, more like a freaking ferry load of energy. So for every six carbon dioxide that is incorporated, 18 ATP and 12 NADPH molecules are used. So like I said, it's a crap ton of energy. But anyways, uh, carbon dioxide incorporation is going to produce glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, which is a 3-carbon molecule. There are three phases in the Calvin cycle. You first got your carbon fixation, where carbon dioxide is incorporated into ribulose bisphosphate using the enzyme Rubisco. And then the 6-carbon intermediate is going to split into 3-phosphoglycerate, two molecules of 3-phosphoglycerate. The second step is the reduction and carbohydrate production, where ATP is used to convert 3-phosphoglycerate into 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate. NADPH reduces it to glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, and the net reaction is 6 carbon dioxides are going to form 12 glyceraldehyde 3-phosphates. The last step is the regeneration of ribulose bisphosphate. You've got 10 molecules of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate combining with 6 molecules of ATP to produce 6 molecules of ribulose bisphosphate. Alright, so here's how the cycle works. You've got your 6 carbon dioxide, which is a 1 carbon molecule, and you've got your 6 ribulose bisphosphate, or RUBP, molecules, which are 5 carbon molecules. Rubisco is going to combine these two to make 12 3 phosphoglycerates. You can see here the structure is just a 3 carbon molecule with a phosphate on the third carbon. After this, 12 ATPs are going to be hydrolyzed, forming 12 ADPs to form 12 1 3 bisphosphoglycerate molecules, also a 3 carbon molecule. This is the structure of 1,3-BPG right over here. You can see it just has an extra phosphate group stuck onto the first carbon right there. After this, it's going to go through some more stuff, and 12 NADPHs are going to be reduced to 12 NADP pluses, and 12 inorganic phosphate groups are going to be kicked off to form 12 glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate molecules, also a 3-carbon molecule here. You can see that carboxylic acid up there has been reduced to an aldehyde, but you still got your phosphate group on the third carbon right here. So two of these glyceraldehyde 3-phosphates are going to be used to reduce glucose and other sugars. The other 10 are going to be used to produce ribulose bisphosphate to continue the cycle again. But So 10 of these are going to go and six ATPs are going to be hydrolyzed to form to reform the six ribulose bisphosphates you need. Then the cycle starts all over again. You can see the structure of ribulose bisphosphate right here if you want. But that's all I have for carbon cycle. The Calvin cycle rather. But in the next video I'm going to go over some alternative pathways that plants use such as photorespiration and the incorporation of 4-carbon constituents instead of 5-carbon constituents and, and CAM plants.